Roger again, once more, Mud Falls University. Today, with an outstanding question from Jay Hosking, asked about the waste disposal of the giants that we are discussing and showing empirical data that existed. And where would, where would they poop? That's a valid question. So, he says, where would they poop? Fabulous question, my friend Jay. Let's think that one over. All right, so what's going to happen here? We know they pooped because they ate, because they ate everything there was, and then they ate all, each other, that's what it says, until they were killed in the flood. So I'm going to go with that. So we know they ate, we know they pooped, if they ate. Now, would they just poop anywhere, or concentrate their waste as we do? Would they dig latrines? Would they have waste control plants? I mean, they're going to go somewhere. So, I said, even my dog has a spot on the lawn. He calls his own little toilet. And he lets, so let's say the giants have a big hole somewhere. They collected the very fertile poop. Maybe they used it to grow things, or maybe they just let it collect there. But at any rate, it would saturate into the ground in these big, large places. I mean, obviously large. They're 2.5 miles tall. And that would be my guess. All right, so now, what would happen to that fertile organic poop is that eventually... If it, if, if it was covered, it would heat up like piles of organic stuff do, just like this, in a composter. The giant poop is deep in the ground, saturated with fluids and so forth, and becomes extremely explosive as it does this. It's literally poop. It's literally the leftovers from, from what they ate. It's exactly what it is. And it pops up and it exactly what it does is it fertilizes the ground just like if you spread poop all over. So I'm saying volcanoes are exploding toilets. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? It fits exactly. Now, where do you find these things? You find them where there was populations. Italy has a bunch of different toilets. I mean, uh, volcanoes. <laughs> and that was like a, an area that there was a lot of this stuff going on. I mean, I don't know about the places in Egypt and all these places like that. I don't know. Maybe they had some way of working it out into the oceans. I don't know how they handled these things. But I can see where a volcano could be a source, I mean, a poop could be a source of a volcano. I see no reason that that's not realistic, none whatsoever. You see them all over South America, and we know there was a ton of people down there, and they were big, the, the giants, they were giants were everywhere, so I'm going with that. We know they had them all over the uh, out west and all these areas, you see these boiling pots of this and that out there and these bubbling shooting little geysers and things all over the place that's what's going on as far as i'm concerned um, you know yosemite i mean uh, uh, the big caldera out there is uh could be a gigantic latrine who knows right just food for thought well not really food for thought but thought <laughs>